What is going on guys, my name is Chris, an Anna TV representative, and today I'm going to go over the Foundry system in Neverwinter. So what is the Foundry system? The Foundry system is primarily a quest creator that is integrated into Neverwinter. It is a quest creation tool which can be seen as a Lego for Neverwinter game in which you create a map, a define a logic and the story for the quest. Basically it's a tool that lets you design your own dungeon that players can run through. So. How do you get started? Let's see. To start the foundry from the game is really really simple and it only takes three steps. From the character creation screen, press enter the foundry button. This will open up the selection menu. From this screen you can click create quest to create your first ever quest and it will open up the quest editor. You can also edit quests from the selection menu if you already have cre created a quest. Once you have a few quests created, you can collect them into a campaign by creating a campaign from the selection menu and then choosing the quest and their sequences from the campaign editor. So with everything player created, there's going to be judgment and this is where ratings come in. Cryptic, the creators of Neverwinter, use the lower brand of a Wilson score interval to determine the rating of quests. Yeah, big word. First of all, basically, you know, one bad review won't cripple your quest's rating. Also keep in mind that a player can only rate your quest once. They can change their rating in a later date, but they can also review it once more. The star rating are adjusted which heavily depend on the number of players in your quest. Thus, if you have more number of plays, your quest will be represented the ratings which your quest has received, weighted average basically. If you have only a few playthroughs, your quest will be displayed and adjust, rating close to about 3 to 4 stars with a little or no reflection on the average rating with your quests received. So, here are some tips to help you guys get started with the Foundry system. When rating a Foundry quest, players can give the author a tip of 10 credit. However, players can only give tips 3 times a day to prevent large funds from being transferred this way. There is no known limit to how much the order can receive through these donations. So creating high quality foundry missions that are enjoyable for other players can be an amazing sustainable source of income. You can also earn rewards through the foundry system. Players get a daily reward of astral diamonds for playing the foundry quests. However to prevent the pull of this lever to complete type of quests, Cryptic has a minimum length of 15 minutes of a playtime for the quest to be eligible. In addition to this, a quest has to be at least played 20 times before it is eligible for a daily reward. So you can't create an easy quest and then have your friends go through it to boost your way through the daily rewards. It is a good idea to try and put enough content in your quest to ensure it lasts 15 minutes so players can get their daily reward out of it. On the flip side, keep in mind that time is precious. Having an average playtime of an hour will also drive some players insane. So that's basically your basic overview of Neverwinter's Foundry system. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you want your very own Play Now link, check the description below. My name is Chris, an Annie TV representative, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.